since we had like a sit down video but this one I feel like we have to talk about it mostly because I have received um, some questions from you guys and I compiled them together and I'm going to answer them for you today I'm pretty sure we all know about the Ukraine Russia conflict I'm going to give you a summary just a brief summary of what is going on and then as a foreigner and a student living in Ukraine I'm going to tell you how the situation has affected me and other people like me living here so briefly on what is going on before 1991 Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union along with other nations like Russia but on the 24th of August 1991 Ukraine gained their independence now although Ukraine has gained their independence various parts of Ukraine still speak Russian language mostly in the eastern part of Ukraine located around the borders with Russia places like Donetsk, Lugansk, Kharkiv even the capital Kiev still speak Russian language now Russia and Ukraine they have been in conflict concerning their borders and this actually led to Russia claiming Crimea on the 16th of March 2014. Now when this conflict was happening, were there foreigners in Ukraine? Definitely. There were foreigners in Ukraine, there were students in Ukraine and I actually know some of these students. So what happened to them? Did they quit their studies here and go back home? No. What they did was to transfer to other parts of Ukraine, including my city, Ivano. Now the youngest group of students when this was happening in 2014 just graduated in 2020. So it didn't affect their studies, they continued with their studies. But nevertheless, the scars from this conflict can still be seen in these cities. Now, two Two very prominent areas in the eastern part of Ukraine is Donetsk and Luhansk which are collectively called the Donbass region and although the Donbass region hasn't been claimed by Russia they are currently under the pro-Russia rebel forces and this is definitely part of the reason for the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Russia wants Ukraine to conduct an election and give an autonomy which is right to self-government to the Donbass region. Now Ukraine came out with their own terms and said they will agree to this only if Russia will first of all withdraw their heavy weaponry from their borders and for the Ukrainian government to have control throughout the Ukraine conflict zone. Now Russia responded and said Ukraine should first have their election autonomy before they withdraw from the borders. So right now the two nations haven't reached an agreement concerning their borders. Now to answer your questions on how all of this is affecting Ukrainians and foreigners living in Ukraine. The first question, are students transferring or fleeing from Ukraine? No, no they are not or no we are not. And why? Because so far we haven't had a reason to do so. Because we are okay and because we are safe. We wake up every morning, we go to school, after school we come back. So far we haven't had any threats and our environment has not made us feel unsafe in any way. Both foreigners and Ukrainians are getting on with their life as if nothing is happening. Because honestly right now nothing is happening to us. We are keeping in touch with each other. I have reached out to people in other cities. Now although we are safe and calm, some nations and their embassies have reached out to their citizens who live in Ukraine and have asked them to leave the country just to be on the safe side. Personally, I know some people from these nations and they are still in the country. Yes, they are still in the country. They are still attending school. Why? Because so far they are safe and they don't have any strong reason to abandon their studies and run when everywhere around them is safe. Another question that I got from a subscriber is, are we in hiding? No, we are not in hiding. We are not even having online classes. We are having offline classes. So every day we get up and we go to school. We take buses, trains, taxis, and life is going on just as usual. Everybody is going around their business, not just foreigners, but Ukrainians. Recently, I've been posting videos about my clinical practice in Ukraine, and my clinical practice is happening while all this is going on. And it hasn't affected my studies yet, as you can see, because we are going to school, we are going to hospitals, we are seeing patients, we are seeing our teachers. Another question I got, sorry, I had to write them down so I don't forget. Yes, is do we hear gunshots or any threatening noise we don't hear gunshots or any threatening noise there are no threats around as by the time i'm making this video so no we are not feeling threatened we are not hearing gunshots or anything of conflicts no we are not everything so far we are just seeing on the news we are just reading about them on the news but we are actually not experiencing them and i know some of you might say okay i might not be experiencing this because i stay far from the borders now before making this video i reached out to people that i actually know that stay in the eastern part of ukraine to hear from them and know if they're experiencing something different from what i'm experiencing so it doesn't look like i'm just speaking for everybody meanwhile i'm 
Meanwhile, I'm not experiencing what everybody is experiencing. The people I reached out to that live closer to these areas are saying the same thing that I'm saying. They are going to school, they're having their normal life, they don't feel threatened in any way. And thank God for that because we don't want that. We are not actually hoping for something to be happening. And we thank God for that. Thank God we are safe. And family and friends from different places have reached out to me to ask me, oh, how am I doing? Am I okay? What's going on? Are we safe? We are safe. And I have tried to reassure everybody that reached out to me that everything is okay and i spoke to some friends as well and they're experiencing the same thing friends and family reaching out to know what's happening some people their family told them it's okay they are done they should start coming back home so for people that their family are panicking like that we had to even speak to them as well and try and reassure them that no we are okay there is no need to leave the country yet thank god another question i got is are there travel restrictions as of the time i'm making this video there are no travel restrictions now of course it's advisable not to travel unless you have to travel just to be on the safe side i know people that have traveled to the eastern side during this period and they came back safely i also know somebody that just arrived into ukraine yesterday yes yesterday you don't need to be worried or scared or panic that you won't be allowed in and out no right now everything is okay and hoping for the best that this doesn't even escalate now i could have made this video last week or even two weeks ago when everything started happening but i know why i waited till now to make this video and that is because i heard that last week wednesday there was going to be an invasion tuesday evening we waited for the school to tell us um don't go to school there'll be an invasion but we reached out they were like oh no everything is okay come to school and truth be told we went to school on wednesday we didn't have any problem we had school on, we had school like every other normal day we came back home we called ourselves people in different cities how is everything going in your city was there an invasion everybody said the same thing nothing everybody was calm everybody was safe then we had that no the invasion was going to be on saturday so we said okay let's wait and see what happens saturday came and went so it was just last it was just this saturday that passed and um, nothing happened thank god there was no invasion everybody's okay and by god's grace we will continue to remain safe as well now notwithstanding we are being very careful we're being very watchful and we're doing our best to be safe and to be calm i will give you updates if need be about anything else that happens in the future but as of right now everything is good thank you to everybody that reached out that showed concern not just to me but to my fellow students and foreigners over here now as usual i'm going to recommend success agency to you the link to their instagram handle is in all my videos down below on the dashboard okay they are going to help you with anything admission and visa processes so feel free to reach out to them i can guarantee you they are very reliable now if there are any more questions that you have please feel free to reach out to me in any of my socials and i will do my best to answer your questions i hope you found this video very informative until next time be safe